and I said to Gutsman, Hey, what are you doing with that E-Tank there? That's not yours. Really, dude? Really? That's nuts. Yeah, dude. Hey, Megs. Uh, so it's Mega Man month again. So I plan to do Mega Man 7 and Mega Man in base. What game do you prefer me to, to start off this month with first? Any suggestions? How about my seventh one? That's where I almost killed Wily. Stupid base. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wow, you killed? You almost killed Wily in this game? No. I, th I, I heard that right, didn't I? Oh, nothing. Just go to the opening credits already. Jeez. Mega Man 7 was released in 1995 for the Super Nintendo. The, for the story-wise, this takes place pretty much right after Mega Man 6 for the regular Nintendo, in which at the end of that game, Mega Man finally captures Dr. Wily and brings him to justice. So at the beginning of this game, basically, you know, what Wily while in prison, Wily knew his plans would end in f one day. His plans would end in failure. So, after six months without his 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 contact, four new robot masters awaken from their slumber to wreak havoc on the city and to free their creator. Thus, prompting Mega Man to leap into action once again. Well, okay. I, as you know, I've probably done these. I've done a couple of these games. With games before. So okay, so first of all, I bet you want to know, Marcus, what are the names of the f of the robots we'll be fighting in this game? Well, get ready. Here are the the, 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 the first four you fight are Burst Man, Cloud Man, Junk Man, and Freeze Man. Yup, you heard that right. The, the, doesn't that this strike strike fear in, in into your heart? It makes you it makes you cringe with 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 fear. Yup. Well, as you know, by I think by this time, <laughs> Capcom was was running a little bit low on the robot master creativity. Well, although truthfully, I have learned that basically, I guess the the ideas for these robot masters come. From a contest, Capcom holds or something, because I know like they have they have a contest where people people in Japan I think they make it they they, they, they they submit they they so submit creations for Capcom to look over or, or something like that. So I don't think I don't think that they thought of those names, but if they did, yowza, yowza. Well, all right. And after you fight those four, you go to like an intermission stage, like the the robot museum. And in the background, you can make out some of the classic Mega Man bosses from other NES games. And after you fight that boss, and you the the next four you fight. And by the way, before I go on to those next four, the, the, the this was the first time, at least in a console Mega Man game, that. You, you, you do not pick from all eight or all you know all six at once. In Mega Man Seven in this game, you pick from the first four, and then you get a second four. And those second four are get ready now. You, then these next four are named Spring Man, Slash Man, Shade Man, and Turbo Man. Eh, I 
yeah, those are, yeah. Yeah, those strike, don't, don't those strike fear too? <laughs> and, the, and the cool part is, even though this isn't in my, my gameplay footage, but for those of you who, for, for those of you who like a certain other Capcom franchise, when you pick Shade Man stage, hold down B as you as you pick in the stage and listen to, and listen to what music plays. First, when you when the when the robot master begins his uh, this intro theme, and when you start the stage, you might like it if you're a fan of another certain horror Capcom franchise. <laughs> Also in, in introduced in this game, at least in, I know in, in the console versions, is a shop where, you know, along in the game as you as you fight, you'll find screws, and these screws act as currency, kind of like what the P chips did in Mega Man 4 and 5 for the Game Boy. Anyway, the screws in Mega Man 7, you can use them at a shop. So you can get like extra lives, E-tanks, weapon tanks, and other cool things. And also in the game, later on in, in, in the second batch of Robot Masters, you can find an item which reduces the price of some of these items. And there's also items to find as well in the stages, like the letters R-U-S-H, you know, for Rush. If you find all four of those in the first four levels, you can get like, like a, like a super rush adapter, like you saw in Mega Man Six, where I think it, but but though I think it's a, it's a combination of the rush jet adapt the rush jet power suit adapter and the rush you know where I I, I think it's a combination of the one where well the it's a combination of the rush power suit where I know in Mega Man Six where you could charge a charge like your fist and do stuff with that. Basically, that's what the 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 rush suit is in Mega Man Seven. Once you find it, so you, you can always you know you can like you can it'll, it'll give you like another jump, you know. So you jump once, and then the 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 rush power suit will give you another little boost, and plus it allows you to do a little bit of uh, it allow you to, to charge like a fist. And I know I'm not saying this right, but I but you know you'll play the game and you'll see what I mean. Plus, if you, if you played. Mega Man 6, you'll know what I mean too. And also, in speaking, speaking of that, that power fist thingy, you can also find an upgrade for that, which allows you, to, you know, I think it either, I think it flies farther, and you can use it to pick up stuff as well, far away items on a ledge that isn't yours, which is pretty cool. And speaking of Rush, Rush Dread and Rush Coil are in this game too, as well as, 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 well as Proto Man. Actually, if, if you go if you go to certain stages to meet Proto Man and, and you find him, I think in one of, in one of the later stages near the end of your of the of the eight, if, if you find him if you find him in the right stages, and then that this last the, the last stage you find him in, you'll fight him, and if you can beat him, he'll let you use his Proto Shield, which acts as a which which which, which when, when selected can block certain projectiles which is a pretty cool little which is a pretty cool little bonus also to note in this game unlike the previous the last three Mega Man games for the NES you know the, the, there's not really like in that let's say like in Mega Man 6 per se you need to fight the eight robots then go on a four level castle and then another four level or five level castle in Mega Man 7 it pretty much turned, turned it just a little bit where you go, where you basically fight the eight robot masters. And I think you fight, you know, a beginning little intro level, that intermission intro level, that intermission level, and then basically you go right on the Wily. So it is a little bit shorter, but I think it was all, to me, I don't mind that, you know. I don't need, you know, sometimes, again, I didn't mind those, that extra castle levels in the last three Mega Man games for the NES. But it's kind of nice to see. It's kind of nice to me. I think it's kind of nice that they went back to that pre. Those three levels were like it was like in Mega Man 2, where the eight robot masters and then boom, Wily. And I thought I thought it was just fine. I guess to me they didn't need to do anything else with that. 
and that's my personal opinion. And also, speaking of the Wily Castle as well, what's interesting is after e after every level you play and finish, you can actually go back to the shop if you get enough screws, and actually you can like recover like any energy tanks you used, any weapon tanks you used, or any other items that you used. You can re, re you can replenish it at after each level. So, so you can say it makes it a little easy. But it's also good for people, for, 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 for new people playing the game. At least it makes it easier. It's like, oh, so if, you, if, if a boss really gives you crap, and you, and, but you're able to finish that boss, at least you can go back to the shop and just, re, and just stock up again to get ready for the next part, next part of that, the Wily Castle. Which I think this is not bad, in my opinion anyway. Anyway, if you're thinking of picking this game up, there are a couple options. Besides, granted, we, I was able to get my my Super Nintendo copy. Well, the copy I played on wasn't really this, a Super Nintendo copy. I actually got the Super Famicom version of this game and, and, and put a translation patch on my Retron 5. And it, so, because the, the, the North American Super Nin Nintendo copy is outrageously expensive. So if you can get, you know, so, and, and my Super Famicom copy was about 20 bucks. But, if you don't want to go that way, it is on the, I think it's on the, the, the Wii U and 3DS Virtual Console. As well, it's on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, and Xbox Classic. And also to note, the Mega Man 7 is also going to be coming as part of the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, which isn't out yet, but it's come, but it is coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So if you, so if you don't have so, so there are many different ways to get this game. So, and and by the way, on, a, on, on another note, for that Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 I just referenced, that'll have this, that'll have Mega Man 7 on on the in the in the in the compilation. It actually will have Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10 on that compilation as well, which I totally want to pick pick up. And for those of you awesome people that haven't played Mega Man 9 and 10 on the down on the downloadable services for the Wii, PS3, and Xbox 360, it's really cool. I'm kind of glad Capcom is doing that. At least, they'd, at least they're doing that right. I kind of wish they'd make, although I do wish they'd make a new Mega Man game either in the, in the X series or the classic series, but that's for another discussion. Anyway, to, anyway, I I really like Mega Man 7. I thought it was really, I thought it was a pretty good, it was a pretty good addition to the series. And I like it, so, it, if, if, if you like Mega Man like me, you know, you, you have many different ways to pick this game up. So, as always, my I like to give my recommendation scale of highly recommended. And as always, if you live in or around the Minnesota or South St. Paul area, please make sure to visit my excellent friends at Level Up Games. The place where they look like is there, their address is there, hello, hello. And also, besides video games, they have all other cool stuff like tabletop board games. They got fig figure collectible figurines, and 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 they have collectible card games like Magic, Pokemon, stuff like that. They've got let's see here. I think they have other awesome stuff, and I think they have like game tournaments for like I think I saw a Smash a Super Smash Brothers Melee. I believe I think it might be that or. Or the Wii U version, but one of those. But they have stuff like that. So if you're in the area, if you're in the area, give them a look. And anyway, so if you're seeing this on YouTube, peachy awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you could, please. And also, I have a I have a Facebook fan and group page, as well as an Instagram where I post this random besides geeky gaming stuff. I also post other interesting things, and as well, I have a, a, a Twitter account as well. And that stuff's down below as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and that'll and that'll do it for another episode. So thank you so much, and stay tuned for the next episode.
Okay, okay, Megs. I did find out that yes, you almost killed Wily because I thought you gave I thought you gave him like a billion chances. Well, six anyway if you just count your NES adventures. But yeah, dude, I I, I I do not blame you for wanting to finally take care of Wiley once and for all, man. But hey, it is what it is. And at least now he you know they can milk you. They can milk the. They can can't they like make more sequels now? I think you got like a couple more games even after that <laughs> that I'll cover at a later review, of course. But yeah, dude, that was nuts. But I understand, man. I understand. But I hear you have a question for me. Is another question for me? Well, since you in Mega Man 7 this episode, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer there. You know, kind of have to do Mega Man and Beast next, you know? So yeah, do that one. Yep, I kind of knew you'd ask me what the next game would be. Well, of course, as you know, and all you Power fans know, the next game will be the will be the Super Nintendo version of Mega Man and Base. And I, I have it here as let me just get this here. I have it here as a repro, but it'll play it'll 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 play on my consoles. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and you know, of course, stay tuned for the next episode of Power Up.